stop West Germany and Cologne. Here's Martin Chivers on the ball for Spurs. His strength always giving him a chance there as he weaves his way in. And a little bit of luck there, a mishit shot. And Chris McGrath is on the other end of it. And that's 1-0 to Spurs, which really stunned this uh, 28,000 capacity crowd in Cologne. They had little to shout about until early in the second half when they got this equaliser. A lot of Spurs defenders back, but none of them really able to get it away. And it's flicked through there to Dieter Muller, just beating off Mike England and tipping it under the body of Pat Jennings. But then Martin Peters scored what proved to be the winner. And a fine goal it was. He's in at the start of it. Here's Ray Evans, a nice little flick by him to Terry Naylor. But what a good cross by Naylor. And there's this thumping header from Martin Peters. 2-1 for Spurs. And Spurs make sure of the tie with two goals in the first 14 minutes of the second leg. Now, can Naylor take on and beat Glovac? Onto the right foot. There's the cross towards Martin Chivers. Played back again. Now Chivers, yes! Martin Chivers... Played for Chris McGrath. A little chip onto the left foot. Martin Chivers on the far side. Coates is going in. Yes, Ralph Coates. 2-0 to Tottenham. And it looks like being their night again. Law beaten by Mike England. Really upended, but England went for the ball. And Pratt finding Terry Naylor. Here comes a cross from Naylor. Chivers helping it on. Martin Peters. Number three. A beautiful goal by Martin Peters. From West Germany to the east. And a semi-final date now with locomotive.